Hi, this is Jay from Jay's Photography and Design. I'm here with another Photoshop tutorial. This time it's on adding a soft focus. I would mentioned it in my previous tutorial and it has been quite a while since I've had a chance to upload any more tutorials. So here we go. We're going to give it a shot today. I had a little bit of extra time so we'll see how this goes. First off, what we want to do with this is we want to duplicate this layer. There's different ways you can do it. You can go over here to your layers palette you can right click on the layers palette and tell it to duplicate layer or you can simply use the shortcut on a PC it is control J once you have that duplicated you want to go up to your filter settings filter and find blur Gaussian blur click on Gaussian blur as you can see that really blurs the image more than we need it but that's fine um, I have it set on a radius of 20 pixels you can uh, play around with that but uh, I've just found that as a standard for me has been uh, to leave it at 20 pixels uh, tell that okay and as you can see that is too soft for us but we're not finished with the image so that's perfectly fine go over to your opacity of that layer and start lowering the opacity get the opacity down there um, to meet this image here we're looking at a, right, right around 50% that looks good. It's just a very soft, elegant looking image. Once we have that, we want to do a little bit of um, uh, touching up the details here. Let's work on these details because we don't want the entire image soft here. We want to bring out some detail in the eyes and maybe a little bit in the lips. Uh, so the best thing you do is create a layer mask. Um, if you go down to the bottom here, you can look over your layers palette. Uh, this is the layer add layer mask you'll click on that you'll see it added a layer mask over here and the way layer mask work you may want to do some searching for other videos on using layer mask if you're not familiar but uh, this is pretty simple um, everything that we've done here is showing through because this layer mask is solid white if we paint on an area with black paintbrush we're going to conceal what we just done to this layer and we'll conceal this layer and bring through our background layer so I'm going to go over here and make sure that we are selected on black uh, you can select your default colors by hitting D and uh, you can see where it changed my foreground color to white hit X and it switches those so now I'm back to my black uh, pick up your paintbrush you want to make sure you have a really soft brush here so I take my hardest hardness slider and um, slide it down just maybe somewhere around 10 percent there um, the opacity level we can start off with uh, somewhere way up there just we can make it a hundred percent okay so what we want to do is we want to zoom in here on the eyes we are going to work on the detail first um, using my left bracket key is a shortcut to make my brush smaller once I've made my brush smaller I've had that at a hundred percent I want to completely bring back all of the details right here on the eye. I'm not going all the way down to the eyelashes there. Um, we're going to do that in just a minute. Skip over to the other eye. Go ahead and bring back all of the sharpness there. Okay, once we have that, go up to the opacity of your brush and change it down to somewhere around 20 to 25 percent you can zoom back out now and make you a little bit larger brush now that we have a larger brush what we're going to do is we're going to start going around the eye here we want to bring back in the words not such a hard edge of the sharpness just begin to click um, the multiple times you click uh, the more it's actually going to paint on there so um, you can be clicking right underneath the edge of the nose here like a little bit of sharpness uh, brush over the lips just a little bit bring back a little bit of the detail there one thing that I like to do when I'm making the soft focus pictures pick up some of the strands of the hair here and let's bring back a little detail in the hair there maybe I'll just a little bit over here and some on these curls here in the front and that's pretty much it um, with the, the, the soft focus uh, filter there I would pretty much leave it at that. You can shut the layer off, look at your results there, turn it back on, you can see the difference. And you can always go back to your opacity of your layer 
and you can adjust the opacity layer. If we take it all the way back up, you will definitely see where you had uh, painted on the layer mask. So you can control that. Um, again, I really like it somewhere around 50 to 55 percent. Uh, it makes it soft, but yet not too soft. Um, once you have that, flatten your image. You can right click and flatten image. And then you can save it as JPEG, and you're finished with that. Um, again, this was a very simple way. In Photoshop, there are several different ways of doing the exact same thing, pretty much. Uh, so uh, this is just my way of doing it. Um, very quick, very easy. Um, I hope this helps. Um, and hopefully I'll have time to do more tutorials in the future. But um, once again, this was my quick tutorial on making soft focus image in Photoshop. CS5 is what I'm using. So until next time, have a great day.